So tomorrow a hotfix for Battlefield 5 will go out to improve some of the weapon damage models to weapons that were affected by this 5.2 TTK change update. So let's see what DICE has in stock for this hotfix. So um, welcome back to the channel. Obviously you, you haven't seen a commentary video in a few months. And I apologize, but really, I like doing gameplay videos, you know, just recording them, but anyway, back into the video here, so starting off, the SMGs, which uh, the ZK, the EMP, MP40, and the Sten are getting their damage output models improved from 4 to 11 bullets to kill, to now 4 to 10 bullets to kill, so pretty much not a big improvement, but eh, one bullet less to kill, which is nice. The next change applies to the ZK again, the MP28, uh, the Tommy Gun, and the Suomi with the light bolt attachment. Uh, the damage output model is now changed from 5 to 13 bullets to kill to now 4 to 10 bullets to kill with a faster damage drop off than the MP40 damage model, which is a huge change because the SMGs really are kind of crap after this update. And also to balance this, they have increased vertical recoil by 25% and the ho horizontal recoil by 60%. Getting to one more SMG here, the Type 100 is getting a slight buff, with the gun now having its damage output to 5 to 10 bullets to kill from a previous 5 to 13 bullets to kill. So getting into some of the assault rifles now, the SDG44 is now having its damage output model from now. 5 to 8 bullets to kill to now 4 to 8 bullets to kill, which is pretty nice. The SCG uh, is still a great gun to, in this update, but I think it's also nice that they're going to make it even better. The Sturmgewehr 1.5 is now having its damage output from 6 to 9 bullets to kill to now 5 to 9 bullets to kill. Uh, and the vertical recoil has been decreased by 25% and horizontal recoil by 20%. And now for the M1907, which was claimed to be one of the worst hit weapons in this update, uh, the damage output previously was 5 to 13 bullets to kill, and now will be changed to 4 to 10 bullets to kill with reductions made to the damage drop off, which is nice. Um, I haven't really, uh, you know, seen the M1907 suck that bad in this update. I used it. It's not really that bad. Uh, the Breda, which was also claimed to be one of the worst weapons in this update, uh, is now going from 5 to 6 bullets to kill to now 4 to 6 bullets to kill. And trust me, I used it. It, it kind of sucks. It's not that bad, but it definitely does lack damage. So getting into some of the LMGs now, the KE-7, Type 97, Bren Gun, and Lewis Gun will now go from 5 to 8 bullets to kill to now 4 to 8 bullets to kill. And also the LS-26, which is one of my favorite uh, LMGs to use in this game, is going from 4 to 11 bullets to kill to now 4 to 9 bullets to kill, which is nice because obviously, like I said, I love using this gun, I love how it handles. And pretty much during this update, I it's kind of weak. You know, kind of like the FG. And speaking of the FG42, which is pretty much a nerf gun in this update now, uh, is going from a 5 to 13 bullets to kill to now 4 to 9, which is amazing, Which, but will also have a slightly faster drop off than the LS26. Onto some of the MMGs now, the VGO and the MG42 will both get their damage model increased from 5 to 13 bullets to kill to now 4 to 10 bullets to kill, with reductions made to the damage drop off. And also, the high velocity bullets on the MG42 will also be fixed. Apparently there was a bug where it pretty much gave you the old TTK back, which I never got to try it, but it definitely seemed kind of fun from watching videos on it. Getting back into the Assault class, the Turner SMLE and the Mass 44 will have their damage model improved to 3 bullets to kill within 30 meters now, as DICE has incorrectly made the maximum damage low, so a classic DICE move, pretty much. And lastly, the AGM-42, which you're seeing in this gameplay right now, will have its fire rate increased from 300 RPM to 360 RPM, and this is to balance it against the Turner and the Mass 44. Now, talking about the gameplay a little bit, the AG definitely feels a lot slower now, especially with that 300 RPM, but it's nice that they're going to increase it. Um, hopefully, it's kind of like the old version where you could just spam it, but I kind of prefer the slow version as well. So guys, that'll be it for today's video, hopefully you enjoyed, if you did, drop a like, and also subscribe as well, and turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.